we are going to move on to our buttery cereal bites. We're going to take a fourth a cup of butter. All right, and we are going to take a fourth a teaspoon of salt with that butter. We'll put this in the skillet and we're going to let that melt really quick. Wrong utensil. All right. And while that's melting, we're going to go ahead and get our cereal out. Nancy, I have rice checks. No, but I did think about that. <laughs> did think about that when I walked by. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. All right. We're going to put in, we're going to melt this just a little bit more. We're going to put in six cups of rice cereal. You can use Rice Checks brand, or you can use our Food Club brand. Both of these are very good. All right. This is super, super easy. You're going to cook these in the skillet till they start to brown. Give it just a couple of minutes here. Well, Nancy, do you have any questions this week while we're waiting for this to brown? No. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's cut, but it's not. I just did it differently today. You really should. For time constraints, I went ahead and just started to add it. But it is better if you melt the butter. Now, this takes a few minutes. You think that these are never going to start to brown. Then all of a sudden, they are browning quite quickly. They really don't. I was surprised too because I thought the same thing and I thought that I was never going to get six cups in the skillet and it worked very easily actually. This is just a little buttery cereal mix. It's a different little take. Something super easy. You usually have all this stuff in your, you know, in your house, in your pantry. All right. <laughs> I have tons of cereal in my pantry. I probably have 10 boxes of cereal in my pantry, no joke, right now. New boxes of cereal. It's insane. And I buy it. I think that I've got to have it and then... Yeah, it's hard though. Yes, our pastor asked yesterday if any... Or no, it was, we had a guest speaker and he asked, anybody kind of be like a hoarder? And about half the church raised their hand. <laughs> My daughter raised her hand and mine both at the same time. I do real good and I get rid of things. I get boxes and boxes of things and I load them up and then I bring. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're just. You don't? No. Oh, I have a couple. <laughs> we sell them at Food City. Well, I got a new one for Christmas, so mine broke, and I've got a, it tore up after about 20 years, and uh, so I needed a new one, and I got one for Christmas. I do have a grinder, though, <laughs> for like, we used to make one salad in it, and then I got a Well, that's different. You know, there was a popular restaurant in town at one time, and they put bologna in their chili. A and W put bologna in their chili. Oh, that was so nice. It was so pretty. All right, now we've about got this done. Like I said, it, you think that it's never going to get done, and then all of a sudden it starts almost burning. All right, I'm going to go ahead and measure out my, my mix. You just kind of toast these in your skillet. OK, 
kind of brown these around where they get just a little bit toasted. And then we're going to add, as my children call it, shaky cheese. We're going to add a third a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I did have the shredded, but this grated, the, the cheaper version works much better. Just to let you know, I'm going to stir that together. You can pour that out on a pan. It says with uh, paper towels. I've got some parchment type paper. You can lay paper towels down or whatever you like or some wax paper. It all does about the same thing. I'm going to lay this out. Now see it's wanting to crush it right there. And this is our Rice Chex Buttery Mix. Super easy. All right, and that's a cute little recipe and kids can help you. This is great for Super Bowl or any other time and it's a very inexpensive snack. 